with uh, some organic vegetables, some not, but it's all the local farmers that deliver to the shop. And it's quite a large variety of, of fruits and vegetables. Is, it, is this all grown by local farmers? Yeah. yeah, yeah, all, all local. Organic? Uh, there's sections of organic. Some organic. Uh, different sections have organic kinds. So this is our food forest garden with a spiral which you can see in our training but until the fruit trees are growing we've obviously decided to plant some vegetables. Young corn is very tasty and you do not need to actually wait for it to grow into full size. Um, if you just want to munch in the garden, yeah, oh, this you can make tea with, mm, also tasty, you can keep it. Рыльца по-русски называется рыльца. Yeah, in Russian it's called рыльца. So these are really tasty, small. Mmm. Zoya, would you like to have some? Очень хорошо. When it gets bigger, and you can cook it. If you let it go too big, then you can plant it again, which has also got its benefits. Um, but like this. Mmm. It's still young enough to eat the whole thing. It's phenomenal. Why would you want to let it grow full size? It's so tasty. Yeah, sure, leave one or two that you can plant back in so you have your own seeds. But you get so much more because you're eating the cob inside. And it's really soft. So these are really good, almost rotted. Oh, look at that, that's already rotting, turning into soil. The stuff is brilliant. It's almost soil. Look at that. It's almost soil. Hop, 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 whoop! Boop! Oh. Ah. Yeah, it's possible. But it's really fun when a couple does it together. I, I know when I was alone, yeah, I don't really feel like, you know, I'll do the sprouts and a bit of this and a bit of that, but really full self-sufficiency. I feel stronger that together with Zoya, we can actually achieve it. Even being the travelers that we are between Russia and other warm countries in between, <laughs> um, definitely it's uh, achievable, but you got to get, for example, in South Africa in August to put the seeds in the ground, to remulch everything, prepare the soil and put the seeds in the ground. Because if you don't put them in August, then by November you're not eating. <laughs> it's as simple as that. But if those little things are done, I believe with permaculture, we don't need to be slaves to our garden. You know, you don't need to wait, wait for paint to dry. You plant it and it's just growing. And there are some things you can do to optimize gardening, such as uh, a book by John Jevons, one of my teachers, um, Grow More vegetables and less space imaginable, then you can really pack your tiny spaces with a lot of food. So there are ways to optimize, but again, you've got to be diligent of certain times of the year and certain times of the moon, and we're still catching up to it. We haven't got it perfect, but the food that is planted here is amazing. We're eating spinach um, and all our green herbs, all our teas, all our green herbs, cabbages, spinaches, and kale, we're eating every day from our garden. Uh, for African people, we have uh, a tartazin free drink, so it doesn't have tartazin, thank God. Mm -hmm. But oh my God, it's, 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 uh, it's le this stuff is lethal. Mm -hmm. Every single ingredient is deathly here. Mm -hmm. There's one out of uh, about 12 ingredients, there is 11 E numbers. Uh huh. Вот так. Yeah, that's. Uh, Fantasy fruit. So there 
here's some more Tulsi. Um, amazing basil. Here's pineapple sage with these red flowers. The red flowers, are e everything is edible. Oh. Is that? Mm? Mm. Yum, yum. Pineapple. Tastes like pineapple. It's all of that for cooking for eggs. Uh, oregano. Abundance of oregano. Just got to keep the things out of its way. So it's not too shaded. Um, camphor. I can just move for beauty. I mean, you're not going to do anything with castor oil. Very good for stomach cleansing. But obviously, this is not nearly enough. But you got to get pure castor oil without glycerine. Parsley. Uh, wormwood. Wormwood very... Oh. Wormwood's got a wow. absinthe, like absence, very strong. Uh, I mean, I wish camera could give you smells. Mint everywhere. Minty galore. Mint, another type of mint. Yeah, two types of mint. Uh, with the yellow flowers, we have tapenambrum in Russian or... Tapenambur, Tapenambur, it's like a, a, a potato type of thing. So we've got lots of carbs growing here with the yellow flowers, it's overtake the whole garden. So I mean, potato wise, everywhere. The sweet potato, normal potato and Tapenambur potato. So carbs are all sorted. Uh, food is everywhere, you can't see it. Uh, spinach, look at the spinach. That's abundance, abundance, creeping spinach. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fantastic, we'll pick some for eggs. Rockets. For salad, rocket is amazing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, strong. Ah. So just growing and growing and growing and growing and we're just picking and that's like that. I think all year round in South Africa, really. Things are growing all year round. So you reach a level of sustainability like like herbs you don't need to ever replant we always got herbs we always got tea we always got herbs for salad and spinach seems to be replanting itself a potato is replanting itself they fall the seeds fall uh, juju we have another creeper called juju we'll show it to you next time when the fruits form it's like a butternut it seeds itself cucumber it seeded itself Zoe and I are gonna go and eat it. Thank you. Thank you, beautiful one. It just seeded itself in a pot. And it's the most delicious cucumber you've ever had. It's got a slight lemony taste. And it's like a melon with a cucumber mixed. Zoe has never eaten a cucumber like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna go and eat it right away. Uh, geraniums everywhere. Easy to transplant, you know. Cut. <laughs> Stick it in the ground. You have another plant. <laughs> Again, pineapple sage. There. Here. <laughs> and you just go and plant it again. Where do you want it? Boom. But for soil to be so soft, it's lots of mulch. It's mulch every year. So, you don't got to eat. We're going to go and cook it now. Let's go. So I just wanted to share with you that sprouting mung beans is so easy or any of the sprouts. You actually just soak them for eight hours and you just put them into a sieve, really. And you pour water every two, twice a day. Mm. So here we've got the corn and it's $2 for uh, sweet corn which is not even organic. I mean, in America, this is much more expensive and organic, you can double it. We've got kale growing. A bunch of kale is 13, so it's about a dollar. I'm sure in America, it'll probably be three dollars and organic, probably four dollars. And spinach is um, 10 rand or just uh, under a dollar or 45 rubles for a bunch of spinach, a little bunch of spinach. But we. The problem with buying in the shop, you buy a whole bunch of spinach, you use five, six leaves, and the rest, within two days, they go dry and not nice to use. The spinach in our garden 
good using it every day, every day. Like today I picked the young leaves and they're so delicious, young ones. Um, and they're fresh every day. You're picking as much as you need. I need two leaves today, I'll pick two leaves today. I need three leaves for juice, I pick three leaves for juice. Because that's another thing to consider. Within 15 minutes after picking your vegetables or fruit from your garden, 90%, I think, might be wrong, of goodness is gone. So it's really within 15 minutes from the time you pick it, you must eat it, which is what we do in our garden. So this is literally cardboard. It's, it's got nothing inside. And in our spinach, uh, so what I'm trying to explain is you, you, you can't compare spinach and spinach. You can't compare that this is 10 rand while you're saving yourself 10 rand. No, our spinach in the garden has got probably 400 times more nutrients. And I know Jeff Lawton was showing us how he tests the amount of sugars and the amount of goodness literally in the vegetable. And yeah, he, claim that uh, up to 500 or 100 times more nutrients in homegrown uh, organic than shops organic and this is not even organic so homegrown food is you don't get into the hospital by eating homegrown food you don't get flu by eating homegrown food you know because your body is so nourished look th this is the biggest one so it's almost a dollar for the mint it's almost and it's a little bit that's, I pick maybe half of this for one cup of tea. Every day I have mint. So that's, you know, we have that all year round. So we have this package of this every day, all year round. So times it by 365, we use mint every day. Time, got that every day in our garden. So, so if we take all of this, one, two, three, four, five, and we have another 25 herbs at home. So 30 herbs times 30 rand, that's 300, that's 20 dollars. Yeah, a tea like this, like we make a tea, I make from about 9, 10 herbs. A tea like that will probably be like 5 dollars. Mm -hmm. you know, if fresh, 5 dollars for every cup of, for every pot of tea. So, and that's times that by 360. That's, <laughs> that's now a substantial saving. That's one and a half thousand dollars on tea. Um, you know, if you're having fresh herbs like this. So we've got lots of beautiful birds on these trees, weavers, and we'd like to give them some seeds. <laughs> so, from our event day I put a cocktail table in a pole, because the base got lost, and now the seeds are not going to be uh, wetted by the rain. So the birds can hopefully discover it. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, eat away without it being frotting and rotting. You know, self-sufficient life, you've got to be diligent at certain times of the year. You've got to be diligent to plant your seedlings. And you've got to be diligent to plant your seedlings into the ground to get the plants. And mulch, 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 mulch. Comfrey, lots of nitrogen. This stuff is what fruit trees need. So you tear and you feed a fruit tree, the little apple tree. So come and join us in Stara Rusa on 24th of May 2020, where we're going to be running a workshop on for three weeks to build a mini earthship, tiny house style, using Cal Earth methods of super adobe as well as the earthship heating technology as well as the water treatment and biochar filtration all at our workshop on 24th of may for three weeks and we're going to basically build a 
sacred geometrical earthship like you have never seen before. Let me show you a model I've done. So here's a model. It's almost finished, the main room. Basically what we have is our sandbags. We're going to have an entrance here. Um, on this side we're going to have a fireplace, which I'll show you. Um, and the fireplace is basically going to utilize the walls as the heating. It's going to be a pipe going in from the fireplace here and here. So imagine a fireplace, yeah? And basically the air is going to go through the walls and warm up the walls and use the walls as the heating um, source, which is basically going to create a mass. But besides that, there's going to be insulation here, a water tank here, just like you've seen behind this wall. And the whole thing is going to be buried, just like an airship covered in soil fully. And these greenhouses are what's going to be visible out. And here we have a submerged garden, which is going to have water here for aquaculture and, of course, additional food growing all year round. A gray, a black water wetland is going to be here and a little acre dome. So we're going to learn how to build a wooden geostructure, um, a back room made of super adobe, a vault and um, a typical dome. Gaia style <laughs> Roman geometry. So this is a model, I'm testing it all out. Um, it's behaving just like I wanted it to. It's one to 10 scale. So Zoe and I are looking forward to be seeing you on 24th of May on our land in Stara Rusa, which is basically tucked in from both sides around with the river. So we'll have daily swims and yoga sessions. We'll be doing some process work in the evenings brainstorming sessions of how we can co-create the new reality we all dream of and of course there's going to be some crazy ass building throughout the day to build something very very new an earthship combining cal earth and the buckminster fuller geodesic dome greenhouse and of course there's going to be an extra room here so and a dome guide style acre dome here so we're actually going to try a variety of methods and something very new to the world is an airship sacred geometrical style with Schauberger, Victor Schauberger egg shape, which you can see from the top. And um, yeah, I look forward to be seeing you on 24th of May. And we're gonna cook together and lots of love to you, folk. We invite all of you together, Zoya, myself, and all of our students from all over the world. Come and build with us! <laughs> <laughs> Hurrah!